sturdy boards about three quarters to an inch thick. It's best if the top one is about two inches bigger or so to get a bit of an overlap so you can easily grab the edges and spin it. You will need to find exact middle of both shapes. If you are working with round shapes I usually trace them onto a sheet of paper, cut out a pattern, fold it in quarters and make a hole where the folds cross. Mark the center on both boards and drill them with the drill bit size of your knitting needle. I like to use 14 inch knitting needle either size 1 or even 0 with the end snapped off. It has a conveniently tapered end which makes it easier to slide your projects on and off. Glue your wire into the smaller shape with the tapered end up and let it dry. The only tricky part is that your holes need to be drilled straight down, as perpendicular to your boards as you can get it. Otherwise your carousel will not spin smoothly. When the glue dries, slide on the two washers. Sometimes one is enough, so experiment with what spins better. The hole in the top board should be ever so slightly bigger than the wire, so it spins freely. Now you have a truly three-dimensional work surface. All other work surfaces out there are just two-dimensional, and so is the base of your carousel. It's the wire in the carousel that's providing your third dimension. That's the axis that will help you to lift your pieces up. One last thing, I tend to poke myself on the end of this wire when I store this thing. So keep something on the end of it when you are not using it. A piece of foam or cork will do. Hope this helped. Now if you want to see more of this contraption in action, look for my video on contour lifting where I talk about how to make various 3D shapes and hit the subscribe button if you want to know more about 3D Pentex.